Okay, the second point in wonder is the E, the accuracy of the things being done. If we check this part of the printout, we will see the reliability indices. Is the test reliable or not? We get three points. We get fixation losses, false positive, and false negative. Any of these points should be less than one third. Fixation losses. In the early part of the test, the apparatus check the point of fixation and knowing is it the right eye or is it the left eye, then the location of the blind spot is known. The blind spot is away from the point of fixation and it gets a special size, five degrees by seven and a half degrees and it is located at the 12 degrees from the point of fixation. Everybody get the same location of the blind spot. So the, during the test, every now and then, the program will send a stimulus to be thrown at the location of the blind spot. The patient should not see it. If the patient answer that he see it, then the eyes be moved. This is repeated several times. Say, if it's repeated 20 times and the patient get his eye moved three, out of this 20, then the print will be 3-20. That means that the program did this test 20 times and the patient was moving his eye three times out of the 20. This, to be a, rel a reliable test, it should be less than 33% of the numbers. It should be up to seven. If below that than that, it's a reliable test. So fixation losses, sometimes if the a pathology leading that the blind spot is quite large, then this check can not be that accurate because the patient may move his eye and still wouldn't see the stimulus. So fixation losses means the number of times a patient responds to a target placed in the blind spot. False positive error. You see this voice? The machine, when putting the stimulus, there's some audible voice. So the patient may learn to respond to the audible voice. To avoid this problem, in between the stimuli, the machine will send the audible voice without any stimulus. If the patient responded that he see the light, we call this a false positive. He is responding of a something he see, although there is no stimulus. It's an audible stimulus. Again, this number should be less than one third of the time tested. False negative, meaning after repeating the examination, the sensitivity of one point has been determined. This point get a sensitivity of so. After some time in the, the test, the program will come to the same location and put a stimulus quite strong, and the patient should see it because he determined the sensitivity of this location. And the patient responds that he doesn't see it. So this is a false negative. Already sensitivity is expected to see that stimulus, but the patient say he doesn't see it. This is, means maybe he lost his attention. So. Again, this number should be less than one third of the number of times being tested. So any of these three factors should be less than one third in order to know that the test is reliable. Either. The printout of this area is here. If we go up back, back, back. In this part of the printout, you will find these three factors.